anti-malware versus antivirus? What's the difference? Or is there any? The answer is actually quite simple, but unfortunately it has been riddled with misconception, partly thanks to people like Linus. Now don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Linus, except the fact that he makes pathetic clickbait content with no depth. Uh, there goes my like to dislike ratio, but that's not the point of this video. I would strongly encourage that you watch from beginning to the end because we're not just going to talk about things, we're actually going to demonstrate them. So on this system, we have two products. One is Bitdefender Antivirus, yes, that is what it's called. The other is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Now if you look at a lot of marketing, Malwarebytes kind of suggests that anti-malware is a new thing, and it does something different that antivirus does not. They even go so far as to claim that it makes antivirus obsolete. In this video, we'll see exactly how true that is. So in order to check that out, we have some samples here that I'm going to drag onto my desktop. These are malware files, which include all sorts of threats, PUPs, Trojans, ransomware. And we have 932 of them. We're going to just do a copy and paste to get an exact duplicate of this folder. One of these I'm going to scan with antivirus, that is Bitdefender. The other I'm going to scan with anti-malware, that is Malwarebytes. And in the end, we are going to see who does better or who catches more threats because as the name suggests, anti-malware is protection against everything and antivirus is only protection against viruses, right? So let's go ahead and do our right-click scan. So the first one I'm scanning with Bitdefender, the second with Malwarebytes. Now keep in mind, there was no sarcasm when I talked about the definitions of antivirus and anti-malware. That is exactly what those terms mean. Virus is a particular kind of malware which used to be prevalent before isn't quite so prevalent today. And malware is an umbrella term for any kind of threat or malicious software. So it is true that malware is an all-inclusive term whereas antivirus is more specific. But does that mean anti-malware is better and detects more threats? We'll find out. Both our scans are now finished. We're going to go ahead and remove all of these files. So for Bitdefender, I'm going to select delete because I can. For Malwarebytes, I'm going to quarantine. So all of these threats should effectively be removed from the folder at least. Both products have now finished removing the threats. Malwarebytes wants us to do a full system restart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have logged back in and both products are back online. Now it's time to look at the results. So, Bitdefender, it seems, has left 111 items in the folder. And Malwarebytes, huh, has left 314. I've already done the math. This is effectively a detection ratio of 88% for Bitdefender and more like 66% for Malwarebytes. Wait a minute, wasn't anti-malware supposed to catch more threats? And as you can see, now that we have Bitdefender enabled, it is actually picking up threats from the Malwarebytes folder. As this test clearly demonstrates, to say that a product is better because it's anti-malware and not antivirus doesn't make any sense, and I'll tell you why. As the terminology goes, logically, anti-malware should detect more threats than antivirus. But the reality is these terms aren't technically accurate. A lot of products have held on to the term antivirus just because the term is more mainstream and it's been historically what people called a security program. And that's the reason why products like Bitdefender, Kaspersky, and a lot of other products still use the term antivirus. No product in 2018 is truly antivirus, trust me. They're all anti-malware. So. I would strongly recommend not to fall for this kind of stuff where somebody says that, oh, we have anti-malware, so ours is better, or our product is this. Like, don't fall for names. Look at the actual performance of the product and then decide which one you want. 
As funny as it may be, it's actually true that Bitdefender is a much better standalone solution than Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is more of an add-on product which gets significantly lower detection rates and you know does not protect you against as much malware as something like Bitdefender or Kaspersky, which would kind of suggest that the reverse is true, that antivirus is more complete and anti-malware is limited, but even that's not true. So don't fall for any of these terms. Whatever the product is called doesn't really make much sense keep in mind that the terms are based on popularity and move on. Watch actual reviews before making product decisions. Antivirus versus anti-malware doesn't mean anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.